Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to another movement series where we're going to focus on shoulders and back. You want to perform each movement for 30 seconds or about four or five deep breaths. These movement series are great as a quick stretch to combat the fact that we are all sitting down at our desk probably a bit more than normal or you can use them as a warm up for your regular training or exercise. The first movement, just shoulder and arm rotations. Um, if we are sat down a lot over computers during the day our shoulders will become rounded and hunched so we want to open them back up just by doing some simple rotations try and get the full range of motion in your shoulders and keep your chest down once you've rotated your shoulders in both directions you want to move on to single arm rotations you want to keep your arm nice and straight you want to get your bicep as close to your ear as you can a few clicks and pops are normal Again, try and keep that chest down. Just rotate your arms slowly, keep it close to the body. You're gonna rotate both arms, both forwards and back. For the purpose of this video, I've just shown one direction on each arm. next movement is the snail and seal shape. The snail shape is formed by on your hands and knees and um, dropping your head and chest in between your shoulders keeping your bum up in the air and trying to get your chest to the floor. I'm going to hold that position and then slowly move forwards and bring your chest through your shoulders try and project your chest forwards and look straight forwards or up and drop your hips to the floor and this forms the seal shape. I'm going to repeat the, both these movements two to three times and just slowly move into each position. Next movement is the cat and cow. It's going to be your hands and knees, fingers spread, knees below hips, shoulders above wrists. I'm going to arch your back and look forward and then push the floor away and round your back out. And just move into each position slowly, breathing in between each movement. And hold each position for a few seconds. You also want to really focus on tilting the pelvis when you arch your back, tilt your pelvis up and when you round your back, you want to tilt your pelvis down and engage your glutes. The next movement is focusing on wrist mobility. Important if you spend lots of time at a keyboard, using a mouse. You want to start by your fingers, just pressing your fingers into the floor and lifting your wrists. Slowly trying to bend your fingers back, not too much, nice and gentle. You do the same with your thumbs, so pushing your thumb into the floor, trying to extend that thumb. Then with your hands planted on the floor, you want to slowly rock your shoulders over your wrists, so really feeling that stretch in your wrists. These movements are really important for people who complain of sore wrists when they're doing press-ups or any work on their hands. You're then going to Point your fingers outwards and rock from side to side. So again, just altering the stretch slightly, but getting some movement in those wrists. Once you've gone from side to side for four or five breaths, you want to then reverse your hands. So your fingers are pointing towards your knees. This can be quite sensitive and painful, so just be really careful and just rock slowly backwards and forwards. The next exercise, again, can be quite painful for some people if you bring your wrists off the floor and you reverse your palms so your palms are facing up and your fingers are pointing towards your knees you might want to bring your hands closer to your knees and just put gentle pressure on the top of your wrists if you can try and straighten your arms by twisting your elbow crease towards the front and just move slight small movements just to get a bit of movement in the front of the wrists 
once you're done just gives your wrists a bit of a shake off a bit of a rotate and you will feel better now we're going to move on to push up plus which is done from a plank position so finger spread shoulders over wrists nice solid core then going to pinch your shoulder blades together and then push the floor away to separate those shoulder blades so the movement is just happening in your shoulder blade next movement is going to focus on our upper back you're going to start from your hands and knees fingers spread wrists under shoulders knees under hips you're going to rest your hand on the back of your head and try and drive your elbow through and under your planted hand then you're going to rotate up to the sky and try and drive that elbow up this is a really good stretch for the upper back it really opens up the chest which can become tight when we're sitting down at our desks all day. The next exercise is again focusing on the upper back and um, similar starting position from your hands and knees. You want to reach one arm all the way through your other arm, try and get your shoulder to the floor, your head to the floor. To increase the stretch, straighten out a planted arm in front of you and also straighten out the back leg on that side to increase the stretch and really feel it down the side of the body. Change sides, bring the hand back and push up to straighten yourself back out and come back onto your hands and knees. This next movement is a great one to do using a chair, a sofa, some steps, um, a, a box like I'm using. You're going to place your hands on top, straighten your arms and drop your chest in between your shoulders. Try and maintain a neutral spine, gauge your glutes and just try and drop to the floor. And really feel that stretch. Just experiment with some slight movements, you should be able to feel the stretch throughout your back and your shoulders and just move into positions which work best for you. This next movement focuses on the front of the shoulders and um, great to combat the fact that we may be sitting down more not moving around as much working from home. Start by sitting on the floor, feet planted, you're going to put your arms behind you with your fingers pointing away, go slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Slowly try and slide your bum away from your hands. Try and keep your chest up and look up and it should open up the front of your shoulders. Next movement is a tabletop. Again, focusing on opening up the chest and the front of the body. From sitting down, you want your fingers pointing away, your heels close to your bum and you want to drive your hips up to the sky, project your chest forward, and really try and squeeze those glutes and push those hips up. Bring your hips back down and try and bring them back in between your hands and repeat the movement for 30 seconds or four or five really deep breaths. To make this slightly more challenging, don't rest on the floor when you bring your bum back down, keep it off the floor and then drive it back up. You can also try moving your feet closer together. That increases the difficulty of the movement and also engages different areas of the glutes. Our final exercise in this movement series, back extensions. 
and lying down and place your hands next to your ears and then straighten your arms out, feet together and you're just going to squeeze your back and try and lift up, try and look forwards, raise those hands off the floor, just squeeze at the top for a few seconds then back down again. This is a great exercise for improving posture and strengthening those back muscles. Thanks for watching. There will be more movement series coming to the UOM Sport website and social media channels. Stay safe and stay active. I hope to see you soon.